Yo, it's your boy Young Kass. I'm here with Mikey T, the movie star. Report card ready, yo. You already know what it is. Did you ever get to have a relationship with Max B? Yeah, Max was real. Me and Max was always cool. Me and Max never had no problem. Like, Max was cool. As, like, when I met Max, talented, he just came home from doing that eight years or whatever. And um, he was just a cool dude. He used to be in the studio with me and Jewels. And I don't, yeah, I just remember. And like, I just remember, um, I didn't know. I didn't even know when Max got locked up. I just heard about it. I didn't know what happened with him and Jim. One day I asked Jim, like, yo, what's up with Max? He was like, man, fuck Max. He ungrateful, some shit like that. And brushed me off, like. And I was just like, damn, what happened? Like, I didn't know. And then, you know, as time went on, you start hearing why he was mad and why. I didn't get, I didn't, I never got into that because um, I never had no, I never had a problem with Max. See, that's what people don't know. Dipset didn't have a beef with Max B. Max B had a beef with Jim. That shit was between Jim and Max. It was never between Dipset. He never had beef with Cam. But we all crew, so if you beefing with one, you really beef with it all. So that's when stuff start to trickle down. Like I said on my um my um on constant true hip hop stories, um when all that shit was going down, the day the skull gang, nine eleven, the day the skull gang, um first skull gang mixtape drop, we was doing our, our run. Was hitting all the uh, local uh, bootleggers with the tape, you know what I'm saying? All the local little uh, hat spots and local whoever sold DVDs and joints. We was on 125th. We went to Cap USA. Max was was in the store looking at leather jackets. I forgot that everybody was outside the town. It, somehow niggas got whiffed that gym. I mean that Max was in the store and. It could have ended up bad, but Els wasn't that type of person to 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 abuse his power. If he was, it would have been kind of a fucked up situation for Max. But due to the fact that Els didn't abuse his power and had that 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 respect from the niggas that was around him to like yo leave that shit alone, you know what I'm saying? My, you know when um when Jewels came in the store. Slow, Black of Dawn, you know, all the, all the no-nonsense niggas that was around the set at the town came in the store. Jewel's told everybody to stand to the side. You know what I'm saying? He asked, he asked um, Max, did he have a problem with him? Max said, nah, when did we have, have a problem? El told him, like, yo, don't do that because you on this DVD saying this and that. If it's not a problem... Let it be. But if it's some smoke, let it be. And man, you can handle this right now. None of I'll make everybody get out the store. I'll make niggas like the store. Me and you can get on, get, get rocking. Max was like, yo, I don't got no problem with you, else. We continue on with our business. Giving out CDs, dropping off CDs. We went to Queens, the Coliseum after that. Everything was good with him and Els after that. You know, El, we had cameraman with it. Els got the footage of that day, the whole day, even when, we, you know, we ran into Max. Els never put that footage out. You can just tell by his character, like, that that wasn't his demeanor. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't El's demeanor to uh do that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else probably would have put the footage out. Els probably got the tapes in storage somewhere. I know she's probably missing or whoever was the videographer at that time got that footage but Els never put that footage out yeah man you were speaking on it a little bit earlier earlier in the interview you said you had a relationship with Joel Santana when he was young what could you tell me about the album that never came out with Joel's and Lil Wayne man did you ever get to see Joel's and Lil Wayne interact I was there for every I was there for every moment of that recording process of that album 
this is how the album was recorded. Him and Els might have did a few songs together in the same studio, but well, pretty much that whole project was coming through emails. No lie. Els would do a, do a song, he would do a verse on a hook, send it to Wayne. No longer than 25 minutes to a half an hour, Wayne would have that shit sent back in the email. We had listened to it, go crazy. Els would send his verse back. Another 35 minutes go past. El Wayne then sent his verse back already. I'm talking about, yo, he did a song for Scar Gang on the day he went platinum. The day he found out he went platinum in a week, he, he sent two songs back for Scar Gang that never came out. The same day, we was like congratulating. He wasn't even hyped. Another that he was just like, "Yo, keep working it up." Yeah, I sent that to the thing, B. Right, black. Sent that shit to the joint. Check it out. Tell me what y'all like. That's how Wayne was. Like that's how that recording process. That that shit was like remarkable because it was just like it was getting to the point where we couldn't work. Once niggas was was going running to the email every five minutes, like, "Yo, Dwayne sent the shit yet? Yeah, Dwayne, Dwayne sent it. Dwayne sent it." You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man, that's crazy. You know, I really think that was supposed to be Joel's third album, I would say. Third album, right? Now, now it wasn't going to be like the third album. It was just going to be like a collaboration. You know what I'm saying? I, so think, I, think, I, think, I think the reason that album ain't going, it wasn't because of the artists or Wayne or Els. I think it was just, I don't think they could figure out the business of it. The, you know, who, what it was going to be distributed through and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Man, but they got a whole new album together now. I ain't hear, I ain't hear none of it. I might have heard some snippets before Els win, before he got incarcerated. But they got a whole new album that they supposed to put out together. 